It's Sunday. Why are you breathing? <laughs> it's in my mic. Yes. <laughs> it's Sunday. Why are you yelling? Is that TJ? Nah, someone's yelling outside. Love that. I hope it's my. Land. I'll fight her on camera right now. You really don't like her, huh? We went face to face for ten minutes, like oh, the other day. Did I about, talk about this? Uh, the bathroom lights were all flickering at once, like going with like complete blackout and then back on. So I texted her, and I was like, "Hey, can you uh, can you turn the headphones up a little bit? It's the uh, I think it's the slider all the way to the right." Oh no, never mind. That's a lie. It's the the circles on the top right. Yeah, that one. Check, check. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. So all the bathroom lights were flickering and I'm like, Okay, can you have like someone check this out? I don't I don't think it's a light bulb problem because they're all going, right? Yeah. Is that like a that's it's electrical. That's like something yeah. normal to assume, right? Yeah. Um, so she texts me, just order light bulbs from Amazon. That's why I was saying when you walked in gotcha. before and I was like, this pissed me off. Cause everything I do, I'm like, yo, the fucking roof fell. And she's like, oh, that new one from Amazon. I'm like, bro, like this is not how being a landlord works. Yeah. So I was like, can you have someone come check it out? She's like, no, you've been early asking for too much stuff. I'm like, we didn't ask for anything from you f so far other than to like clean the fucking place we moved in. And, uh, after like bickering back and forth, like three days via text, she eventually sends the maintenance guy. He comes in. He tells me that it's like they're flickering because there's too much water vapor getting into them or something and they don't have a protective case over them. Okay. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but like, it sounds like, okay, cool. Like, let's yeah. fix it. So he took them out. He cleaned underneath them, put new bulbs in and they still like don't work now. But she comes in and she starts yelling at me that he's like, she's like, he had to come in during his lunch break and do this. I'm like, I don't, I didn't ask for that to happen. He's your maintenance guy. Like he should just fix things during his job if we have a problem. Yeah. She's like, you should be, um. You should be, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought completely. Uh, you should be tipping him. I'm like, what tipping you, him. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, you should be, and she starts going off the rails. She's like, you should be tipping the USPS and the FedEx drivers to drop your boxes off or else they're not going to do it anymore. Keep in mind, she speaks like extremely broken English. That's their job. I'm saying like, dude, and that's the maintenance guys. I'm like, bro, we pay like X number of dollars per month for this apartment. And then she starts going, well, the people above you pay more than you and the people above them pay more. I'm like, does that mean we don't, it dude, it's just got out of control. And we were just screaming at each other for like eight minutes straight. I'm like, this is, this is ridiculous. Um, so that's my, my fucking Grife with our landlord right now. Does so she, she own this in, place? I, I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, so you're definitely getting a second year lease. This I, is over. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> I don't care. She just keeps bringing up like her son is a black belt in karate. Not like as a threat, but like she just keeps telling stories that make no sense. She's talking about her cat and how one guy like put video cameras in the building. It was like nothing you're saying it like sense. correlates with the last thing. So she's said. just crazy. Out of her mind. If you walk, Kelly took a picture as she was leaving, looking into the door of her apartment because she lives on the second floor and it's just it's tools and plants everywhere like it's a jungle inside does anybody have you talked to anybody else like do they have issues with her i or? haven't talked to i've like met them but it, this was prior to me having problems with the landlord so mm -hmm. like i want to ask them if what well, their experience is. but they've been here for a long time so like i'm assuming it's never been a big issue um i don't i don't fucking know anyways so fuck a landlord yeah, that sucks. And it sucks that she lives right below you. I feel like that's going to cause other issues, but... Maybe. She's never, like, complained about being loud or anything. I don't think she will. She's just, like... It's just frustrating because the maintenance guy and her both don't speak a lick of English, so it's, like, impossible to communicate. Even if I want something simple done where I'm like, can you just tell me what I need to do? It's like, we can't... There's no communication there because, like, we literally physically can't I have an employee that speaks uh, Mandarin or Cantonese, so we could get it done. I have no idea what she speaks. Either one, probably. I think she just speaks only english but extreme like i don't think she speaks another language she just doesn't know how to speak english <laughs> that sucks but All the right. place is coming along it's looking nice um we just put up that brick wall first looks better than first this. weekend off in five weeks steve can you just put up two shelves and put up brick it's part of your job for big dogs gotta eat for bdg corporation in ring unlimited llc <laughs> You're shot We're both shot I feel like that got us tired I am tired right now How's the workflow been? You said you got it back to a routine? Yeah so we uh, This was the first week in a while That we like Ripped off fucking Video A good video Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday Tony took all three edits Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I'm going a lot more short form videos this year though Yeah I was going to uh, bring that up I saw that You um, you're, you want to do Also just like clips too right? Yeah so we're going short form because I'm thinking about it. Like I've always done longer form videos, but one, I need more time back if I'm going to be putting up like six pieces of content a week. 
Two, I'm thinking about it from a personal standpoint now. I'm like, if I search something on YouTube, there's no fucking way I'm going to watch. If, if it's the same exact thing, same title, you know, and you know the creator or whatever, there's no way I'm watching a 42-minute video over a six-minute video. I'm Thanks. not going to go that short. I'm not going to go six yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. But it'll be more so in like the 10 to 18-minute range, which even that is like half the time that I would normally spend on my stuff. So going a little bit shorter form content. Um, so it's easier for me to make. It's easier for whoever it is to edit it. And then um, YouTube started doing these things called... So yeah, so we put it out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, had Faith the Public Friday. And we've, we've seen some good numbers so far. We're getting like some pretty good subscribers considering uh, what we've been getting over the last like couple months off season wise. So the content's about to hit. We're supposed to, we're going to get a little mojo going and things will flip up. And YouTube just started rolling out these things called shorts. Okay. So they're basically like their version of TikTok mm -hmm. where it's like you could put up a minute video and it comes up obviously full screen on YouTube. And I've been experimenting now. So every individual video I put out, I also put out like a short of a, like it's not a clip from the video but i make a video from something from the video like gotcha. i make you know yeah, one that's yeah, yeah. actually native to the short platform and like first one i put up got over like ten thousand views oh wow yeah and i'm not sure like i'm gonna keep doing that and see what comes of it and see if it like helps push youtube and the only problem is like they set it up so ugly that it just like shows up like if you go to my page right now and you go to like subscriptions or whatever you'll see all the videos in a normal row like they normally would be but the shorts like don't have a thumbnail to them oh. and like the way you edit it on the phone is like they don't give you a lot of editing options so you can go but it still appears on your channels if you upload it it was almost as if like i could have done this a year ago but they just didn't have the name shorts on their platform like gotcha. i could have just been update uploading videos like this um i could have been uploading videos like this and just uploading it to youtube and i think it would have been the same thing hmm. but now that they have like an organized thing behind it i'm like okay I'll, I'll just see what it is maybe they'll start pushing more organic traffic to the shorts and stuff yeah um so we've been doing a little bit more of that well, that's good. Like when shorts do, like I know when you have sponsorships, you can't put that on shorts, right? Because they're only a minute, so like oh, yeah. I need to be like very precise with the time. Hmm. So I'm going to take the shorts. I'm going to probably put them on TikTok. I put the ones I've made so far on TikTok. I put the ones I made. I put the first one onto Twitter today just to see how it goes. But yeah, we're trying to chop up a lot of social clips, and we had the call last week with the team. How did that go? It went well. We we're actually that call went for like two hours. Jeez, really fucking long. Did you get on with Scott after? No, nah, dude, we just can't connect. We've been texting, but I we, like he's super busy in his job right now. He's had a lot of edits recently. Yeah, he said he was saying how like the president of his company came and like he had to do other things and like then a commercial. Like he was just busy, you know, and then I got busy, and I was like, let's just connect next week. Mm, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, our our call ran like really long, so by the time it was done, it was probably like really late. But yeah, we uh, we we divided things up so it's almost like each creator gets their own editor mm -hmm. and then whoever's doing the editing will also do the social clips i think one of the problems we had was like especially with scott as an editor every time he would make he would edit like the fade the public and then wanted to make a social clip from it like he would edit the full fade the public video right and that's what would go up on youtube but then anytime he wanted to take like an edit a one minute clip from fade the public he would like take it and then edit on top of it oh so it was like almost doing two edits to do one social clip that's like a minute long and that's not what we needed so like with the editors coming in basically like if you're editing it and you see a good piece just take that minute put just, it up so yeah. we're gonna have them actually uploading straight to social as well Oh, that's awesome rather than sending it to us making us look at it so they're just gonna fucking rip off the clips, the captions. And my one worry was like, I don't want captions to be like really shitty, you know, like cringy yeah. captions and shit. So it's like, it's kind of like funny. We're going to like make a game out of it. I'm just going to be like rating the different captions that the editors put up and stuff That's like funny. that. Um, yeah. So we're, we're in a little bit of a groove. They, Scott's working on like the official document for organizing like throughout the week who has an extra like hour or two to put on to their schedule to do certain things, but it's going in the right direction. So are far. they excited? Like how like the format is now, or is it like? Well, the young, I think what happens is like Ike Ike is Ike is good. Like he's doing whatever he needs to do. Scott's obviously been in a position where he knows what organization behind editing can do. Mm -hmm. But like Tony and Sexy Pats, I don't think like are they're like hesitant to the organization of it because okay. like they haven't. I don't think that either of them have worked like a real full time job before. So it's like. Uh, when Scott's like, we have to do it this, this, they're just like, oh, it's not that serious. I'm like, yes, like listening to Scott when he's talking because he has like 10 years of experience of leading teams in terms of editing and stuff. So, um, yeah, he'll he'll whip him up. He got mad in the Slack channel the other day, actually, which I thought was funny as hell. Yeah, like, it's like the first time I've really seen him like, you like, what the fuck is happening here? And I'm like, oh, you know, this is like what you got to fucking whip into shape. It now. was funny because he's like, yeah, I said something, didn't get an answer. Said another thing, didn't get done. I'm mm -hmm. like, these these kids are young. They got to learn. And now, like, you're you're making it, like, more formatted. It's just, like, they got to go with it. And Scott 
So you got to take charge, brother. Yeah, they're getting <laughs> on a call today. Well, 10 a.m. Sunday. So by the time most of you guys watch this, they'll probably have already done it. So he's just like, yeah, we're going to get more. We're going to get on just an editor call. I don't think I'm even going to be on it, but just to put a little bit more, uh, you know, fusion together with everything. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, he'll he'll have it ready to go um, within no time, I'm, I'm sure. And it's, it's going to help us a lot. I no, that's awesome. I think it's going to be a nice summer for you to just – do your content, send it through, and then you're still going to obviously edit small things, but yeah, nothing crazy. Yeah, so like the videos I'm doing individually, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Tony could take them, but like bi-weekly because Mike and Noah are going to start doing a few pieces of content together again. Tony will, and those are going to be bi-weekly. So it's like the week that I don't, the week that he doesn't have those, he'll take mine and vice versa. So mm. uh, yeah, we should, I mean, it should be, should be good within like a couple of weeks and we should see a lot of like volume because what it is, is just like a, a YouTube video would say get 5,000 views. We chop it up into social, like on Twitter, it'll get, you know, 8,000, Instagram, another like 2,000, TikTok, another 1,000, whatever, you know, before you know it, like 5,000 turns into 25,000 mm -hmm. all over the place. So that's, that's what we need. No, that's good. I think, yeah, you're not just solely going on YouTube anymore, which is nice. Yeah. So you're happy where you're at, like with the company and everything wise, where it's going and do you feel more relieved or relaxed or it's just. Yeah, I feel a lot more relaxed than I've felt in like a while. Yeah. I think uh, me getting back into like my content makes me feel a lot more at ease just because it always goes back to the reminder that like this is like why you got here in the first place and like if you just focus on this everything else around it will kind of fall into place you know when you start focusing so much on the bigger picture stuff you start to lose you know what got you there and it like it gives yeah. me uh, some underlying well, it's nice. I, a little bit like i said i think for the last like two years you're you're like the big picture guy now you're kind of like breaking it down again going back to basics and i think it's going to help and work out and like you just like Tony's been great. You you've been hanging out with him all the time. Mm -hmm. And sexy pats is he in the area or not? No, he's in Canada. And he also has like a what? He also <laughs> he ha he has an internship right now with this company called Owners Box. Yeah, and it's a full time internship. So like he can't help us out as much as we had previously maybe thought or hoped for. Um, but he's still like putting in enough work. He's doing Mike's videos. So Mike has like a long form video market watch Mondays that goes out on Mondays, and sexy pats is editing that for him, which is a big help for Mike and can open up other shit for him. Um. Yeah, he's in Canada. He has like a full time internship with this with the company, and uh, and yeah, I mean he'll he'll do what he can. For yeah, now. Well, that's good. Scott's I just like we got to look at it as more of a startup. Then he's like he's like I forgot like I work at a full production you know company that I, people work there and get paid. And yeah, exactly. So he's like we just got to make sure. I was like yeah, just just know these kids are young and we'll get them eventually. It's just you got to look at it as like a a project. Yeah, and how's um the new setup for fade the public i know you said you guys just filmed here is this gonna happen moving forward or no probably not what i think we're gonna do is get a table for over there mm -hmm. we have to figure out what we want to do because like we also want to i don't know if we're gonna get like an actual kitchen table for the apartment we could turn it in but like the background over there is cool because at night you open up the windows and you could see like some of the lights from new york so oh, if yeah we have half of it if we have it like angled like this we can have half of it facing the exposed brick and half of it facing like outside. So we could do it that way. I'm not opposed to this, but like th it's hard to do content in here outside yeah. of this, you know, cause you like sink in and you're like, you can't get the same like veracity that we had at the table with yeah. the public. And we need like our laptops a lot of the time for it. So it's, it's tough to do that. But what if you get like an Island instead with three stools, it could be dual purpose. The ones that are roll. So mm -hmm. then you could use it yeah, obviously like for breakfast and lunch and dinner, but then you can make it into the, yeah, I think like Zat has a nice island. I could tell him, text you, show you how it is. I think it would be perfect. Yeah, a picture would be good. I think that was the other concern. It's like we don't know what we want to do because I'm juggling like life table yeah. and like fade the public table. So it's like we have a lot of ideas. We can go like, oh, we can go like a high top round table, put the stools around it. We can go with an island and like use that for actual, you know, a kitchen and fade the public. But is like an island going to be big enough for us to like sit at and do a podcast at? Yeah. You know, because we also need, if we're going to do a multi person podcast, we need like the roadcaster over there to gotcha. do it. You know what I mean? So it's like, a little tricky and it just feels like one of those things that we're just going to keep talking about and then like i'm just going to have to pull the trigger on something and like hopefully it works i don't i don't know so i'm not sure right yeah now. it's just when i i didn't watch the fade of public episode i don't know if it even came out but i saw like a snip of it and they yeah, yeah. like it looked so relaxed when max was just like yeah like, <laughs> yeah so we were thinking like i don't know maybe get rid of the beanbag and have like an actual chair over there like a you know like a lazy boy or some shit yeah and then, like, we can do it. Like, I'd be fine here. Snacks is good in the middle. Max has his chair or something. We could run it like that. But, yeah, it's still very much up in the air. Yeah, it was nice that you guys had, like, seats and you guys were all, like, separated. Yeah, it was very organized, you know. So now it's just, like, very unorganized again. Just like yeah. our fucking recycling. Dude, the fact that recycling comes once a week is, like, actually a problem for us. You should have seen this on Tuesday night. You were so accustomed to, like, nice things. How, how was that turn? Going from, like, concierge... 
Um, just dropping off to the front desk. Is that something you want again, or is this like... It's not a, it's not a necessity for no. me. It is not, the garbage thing, just having a disposal and being able to throw anything in there was awesome. Um, right now, we're just ordering so much shit that like Wednesday comes, we throw out the recycling, and then all of a sudden, what, what's today, Saturday? This is two days later. Jesus Christ. Right? Like, and I feel like we keep saying, oh, once we're settled in, we'll be good. And nah. she's like, nah. I you get boxes all the time. All fucking day. So that sucks. But I mean, haven't had too many problems with the packages being delivered. We did have a couple packages go to the apartment next door. So that was annoying, but the person came over and gave it to us. So that was fine. Um, I haven't, yeah, I haven't had any other real problems. Besides have you that. been exploring? Have you, you liked the? Yeah, area? I mean the area is awesome. Yeah, I, I knew the area not too well, but like, I mean it's it's like the best area in New York, I, in my opinion. So mm-hmm. it's like, uh, you know, just walking up and down like gives a lot of fucking energy. So yeah, I mean I'm happy to be here. I haven't I haven't really been able to explore as much because I've been working so much and obviously was in Miami for a little while. But like, yeah, I'll, I'll get around to exploring now that the summer's here. Do we have a plan in the summer? What are we doing? Or is it nothing? What do you mean? Just like life wise, I've got like nothing booked for the entire summer. Are you gonna keep it like that, or are you just not even I would, thinking? I would book something, but like I don't no. know what you have in mind. Someone was telling me yesterday about uh, what are your thoughts on Salt Lake City? Is that Utah? Yeah, they had the Olympics there like a bunch of years ago. I, I mean, I, I don't know if I have any thoughts. Uh, can you like let me know? What? Someone told me that, to go there, and it was awesome. And I was like, who? But who? The kid Natty that was here last night when we had a little party, the kid that TJ met. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about it, but I was like, that's a random place I didn't really thought of that like could be fun if it's actually a cool city. I think Heather said for her, where is she gonna go to her bachelorette? I forget. It's something like that. I was like, why? But that's Salt Lake City. No, but like oh. something like that. I feel like. Where are they gonna go? I don't remember. You have to remember. I don't. Is it in America? Yeah. If you rattle things off, I would know. All right. So it's not like Austin no. or anything like that. It's not like fun. Portland, Maine, New Hampshire. No. Uh, it's not in the Carolinas. No, it's not Naples. Naples. Oh, in Florida. No, it's not Naples. Boca Raton. No, it's not Naples. It's something like I Naples, though. But Naples. it's like something like Naples. I'm trying to get it in my head. In California? I don't know. Mm. I'm like really intrigued now. Actually, I want you to do like you know, Mark Wahlberg and Ted. I'm not like good. At, I'm not Becky, Susan, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at geography like that. Yeah, I'll just keep naming like places and I'll just keep naming the streets around around my area. <laughs> Sullivan Thompson Greenwich um yeah we uh that's I, dude when you put when you do a wedding I don't know if a lot of your subscribers are fucking married but shit's nuts married to the fucking game bro. I don't do anything for can it. I show you something that's like kind of disturbing what oh what you do bite yeah we were playing basketball in here last night and I caught a fucking head gumming up and it fucked me I thought I I thought I like ripped off a piece of my tongue last night when it happened Dude, I had a, my jaw was all fucked up. Same shit with me. Well, when I started my cleanse, I think I said this last time. I like bit the same place three times in a row, and I like almost punched like someone at work. There's and, nothing worse than getting. Like, and then I got like, then it got like a sore, like it became something, and I was like, "This." Hurts. You got that herb cut. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. So you're done with the cleanse fully. Yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to keep it. Like today, I didn't do the shakes. I didn't just eat today, but uh, it's my type of cleanse. Baby. Like up until f- it was done on Wednesday, but I wanted the 30 days, not like the 28. So I just uh, kept going. I think I'm just gonna keep going. It really makes it really easy uh, to meal prep. Your so. skin looks very like fucked up. No, I was gonna say besides that uh, little yeah. patch over here, <laughs> yeah. like your skin otherwise looks. Am like I very, glowing? Kinda, yeah. It might yeah. be the lighting in here. No, but I feel better. I mean, I definitely feel better. Overall experiences from it, yeah. O- overall, it, it got me back to be motivated. Um, it, it like I felt like my now my mind's clear again. Now like I feel like even like you say like whatever you eat. Oh, it fucks you up, and it definitely was. I was already gluten free, so it wasn't a big deal. But I feel like definitely less bloated. I don't get I like I'm not fucking farting all the time. And uh, <laughs> just the shit. beginning of it. Yeah, and then, you're just shitting all the time instead of farting, dude. That was wild. I like the, it. Actually, comes out. Now. I almost like cried, but like yeah, it's it's good. I think it was a uh, it was a good reset that I needed. It's not sustainable. So if anybody tries to do this like long term. It's like then I think you start ruining your body because just like shaking twice and just eating a small ass meal. Yeah, all the comments on the YouTube videos are always like, "Why are you letting Steve do this?" Yeah, and yeah. It, like, I like, but like I just needed, to, <laughs> I just needed to do something easy that like to not think of. Well, so. it's, it's it's impressive that you did the whole fucking thirty right? days. Yeah. Like, dude, I was fucking. Like, I couldn't pumped. do that. Yeah, it's it's. Well, I I'm one of those people. If I ha- if I do something, I'm gonna fucking do it. You know, it's like I have not. I can't like fail. Like I'm just like so. Pissed. Can't fail. I'm You're pissed. just gonna win life. Nah, I'm losing right now. <laughs> Why do you have so much almond milk? 
That's like a sick amount of almond milk. That's actually not mine. So I usually buy the almond milk. You know, like half half of my yeah. fridge is usually almond milk. But he's been like using a lot of mine. Okay. So he was like, "Oh, I've been using a lot of yours." So I ordered a bunch of almond milk, and that just came in like last night. Like half of these boxes are almond milk boxes. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we have a fuckload of almond milk. I keep it. I keep it crispy in my, in my fridge. I had two white claws yesterday, and like a shot. I woke up feeling like shit. So I'm, I'm scared for tonight. Tonight's gonna be good. I can't wait for the trust fall. Um, who am I? Am I just doing it to random people or just Whatever anybody? You want. You're just going to tap me and be like, yeah, trust fall time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hurt somebody. I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah, you're gonna take, Am I going to get gonna in trouble multiple, tonight? You're probably going to break a table or you're going to take mm. one or two people down. It doesn't matter. Though. Like, we know everybody there probably. They're all fucking assholes anyways. Yeah, that's they true. They deserve to be falled upon. Yeah, we're excited. This is my first time out since going to St. Thomas back in April. I haven't done shit. Back since. in April. It seemed, I feel like that wasn't that long ago. For me, like, thinking of that didn't seem like that long ago. The, I mean, the last month has been really rough for me at work, but I think everything went back to normal, which is nice. But uh, it's nice to have a weekend off. Um, Tony just yelling? No, not Tony. Oh, he is, too. I don't know what he's fucking yelling about. He thinks I'm fucking with him. He always thinks I'm fucking with him. Well, that, that's a problem. You're so sarcastic all the time. Oh, well, he's also super gullible. I could be like, do we have a flight to Texas tonight? You'd be like, no, we're not. No, <laughs> well, we don't. But you took him to Miami. Yeah, but that's different. It was like clearly a planned thing that I was telling everybody about with like itinerary. I, guess. I could literally be like, dude, we have to go to Texas tonight. And you'd be like, oh, no, dude. Like, t- Tony, you fucking gullible piece of shit. Does he edit these? Is, are you looking right at him? No. These have to be up in like 12 hours. You think someone's going to edit and upload these? Who does it? I, just, I do. I just go straight to fucking YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> All I do is I take the beginning part before I say it's Sunday. Why are you yelling? Cut, drag to the back, <laughs> put the BDG intro into it, and right into YouTube. I still cringe in the first one we did, and then you sent me a Snapchat of me just going like, 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 like. Yeah, you've improved a lot from there. Yeah, it, it was hard. The, but- fir- the first, vi- yeah, the first couple you did, you were just like, it's like you know, like when like if like you, I was like Steve, this is at, you're fucking actually fired. I think you did fire me actually, but. Yeah. Like you, oh, those are my socks. Like you know, like it's, no, these are Space Jam socks. Hmm. I think these are the only socks I own. I feel they're like those look, wait, it says Toon Squad on them, uh, but they're still so New York fucking Giants, old. So. Bro, Jessica's wedding, yeah, is the first. How many times I have to tell you this? I don't remember you telling. I've me. told you this like so many uh, times. Well, it didn't register until Snacks and Animal started yelling at me about it because neither yeah. of them got invited. Why would they? I don't know. Actually, I'm surprised. I feel like didn't. I was about to say I feel like Snacks is like her cousin. I feel like. <laughs> Everyone's co- the a, town we came from. Everyone has a lineage to the Bunos or the Isadores. Yeah, it's out of control. Yeah, and I thought he was cousins with Jessica, so I was like, okay, we got to figure this out together. And he's like, I'm not invited. I was like, fuck. They're playing the Broncos. Yeah. So it's what are you like, gonna do? I can't, I can't really like miss her wedding for the fucking Broncos tailgate. Can I? Can I go? What time's the wedding start? When's the last time? Like, I, I don't know, Jessica. I don't know if you listen to these. This is no disrespect. When's the last time you fucking talked to Jessica Venzuela? Um, I couldn't tell you. Exactly. She gets me up like DMs me sometimes oh. on like, Instagram about random shit, but not not like that though. Yeah. That's honestly probably like once every ten months. I don't know why I even brought that up. Yeah, it's it hasn't been a while. I just feel like weird doing that. No, I know it's like a shitty thing if not to go. I don't. Yeah. That's gonna be uh, yeah. But like, what time's the tailgate? I don't know what time the wedding is. I don't know what time the game starts. I think it's a one o'clock game. So it's you definitely could, uh, one o'clock game. I could probably hit the tailgate and then hit the wedding. But the wedding's probably gonna be like three hours after that. I'm. Ugh. It's going to be such a long shift. Oh, boy. You just don't go to both. I have to choose one? No, just don't go to either. Just don't go to either? <laughs> yeah. That would be, like, really ideal. That would be amazing. I'll just tell both I went to the other. That'd be sick. Wow. I, lo- I love that. Yeah, so no one can get mad. That's amazing. I fired our web developer guy two days ago. Did you? Yeah. It had The time came. Was he pissed? No. Like, the opposite, actually. I w- basically told him, like... There well, you just found this guy through. He found me, reached out and asked if I needed any projects done. Basically, he so he's a BDGE fan. I don't know if he's necessarily a BDGE fan or like he stumbled across like me in the fantasy space because he had been talking to other people within the fantasy space, um, and he had been working for free up until this point because I, like I never officially hired him. And I, I remember when we first started working together, I was like, "Yo, can you show me some of the stuff that you've done?" And he was like, oh, a lot of my stuff is like being uploaded into like the app store right now. So he never really showed me apps that were concrete, like a couple ones that were a couple years old. And then the websites he showed me were like very mom and pop type websites. Yeah. 
And I was like, okay, well, it's free, so like we'll see how it goes for now. And uh, and it got to the point now where it's like he's like, I, we've talked about this before. He's yeah. very coder, not design guy. And I'm like, I I need help with the design. Every time like he tells me he's going to work on the design, he's going to outsource it to one of his friends or something. It just never gets back. And I'm just like, okay, I can't do, I can't continue to do this if I'm trying to get somewhere. So I told him that I was like, listen, in, in a really nice way, I was just like, you can't give me what I need. So I'm going to go with like an agency or something. He's, yeah. like, oh, he's like, no hard feelings. He's like, I understand if that's what's best for the business. Um, I was just trying to help you avoid agency prices. Yeah. So I got on two calls yesterday. I was on like web developer calls all day yesterday. It was terrible. First one, I posted on Instagram and Twitter and shit like mm-hmm. that looking for a web developer. So one guy reaches out and he was a guy within the fantasy space. He runs this like right now. It's just a website pretty much. I'd gotten on a call with him like a year ago and, um, just to like help him, I don't know, like give him insight on some stuff, whatever. Yeah. And uh, you ever heard of BarkBox? Yeah. Have you? Yeah, I have. These are the senior. Um, is it? Is that a Shark Tank? Maybe. They're about to go public in like two weeks. And um, can you say that? I'm not sure. I feel like if you're going public, like people know that. I don't think so. I think you need to edit that part out. Fuck. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, though. Regardless. <laughs> regardless. <laughs> Regardless, uh, he's the senior like web developer for them. Oh, dude, you can't say that. Anyways, let's start again so you know. Fuck. So he start. He's from. I'm just Bar- gonna beep out that like. So he's from Bart Bark. Bart. <laughs> Bart- <laughs> well, how can I not say that? No, you can say that part. That's it. He does design work for them. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he he does design work for <laughs> them. And, Bark uh, box. Yeah, and he's like, listen, I'll, I can help you out for a significant discount in pricing if you help me like promote. My pole sports is this thing. It's called pole sports. If you help me promote pole sports, and I was like, bet. Like he obviously knows what he's doing. Got on a call with him, and uh, he's like a senior stack guy, senior stack, which means he does front end, back end, all that stuff. But like, he, we'd probably need help with the des- design work as well. So he's telling me these different websites to try like outsource and figure it out from. And he's like super helpful. He clearly knows what he's doing. And then I got on a call with an actual agency, and they're like super fucking legit. Yeah, like, really good. And I'm like, I really want to work with them. They're like a crazy process of this, all the stuff that you have to fill out just to make sure that like they want to work with you, which is like a good thing. You like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Um, and they work with like big companies like Fortune 500, but they're a team of like five or six guys. So they keep it like real tight knit. I'm like, it's perfect, but it's going to run a lot of fucking money. Yeah. And it wasn't something unexpected. I remember like I tried to budget out like an app slash website. I think I put it out like 25 or 30K if we wanted to do it. Now that we're here, I don't know if I still want to invest that much into yeah, it. But I mean, they're like, yeah, baseline, you know, we probably can't do anything impactful for you for anything less than 15K. And I'm like, okay with that because I've seen their work and I know what they can do. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, that's so stupid. You can get, I can do you a website for 2000 Like, you don't know what the fuck I'm looking for in a website. You can't do the website I'm looking for for like $1,000, $2,000. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of in- intricacies to the fucking website that I need. I know they'll do it right. So I'm like debating between which of these do I go forward with, you know? Um, you said you're going red this year. I did say we're going red this year. I have to pay someone for the website. I'm going to have to pay someone for... I'm going to have to pay the editors. I didn't need to give that money over to Scott yet either, so... We're Definitely going, going red. We're going big red. Yeah. We're going big red like the gum, baby. Love that. I th- My personal opinion, if you go with that one guy, he has a full-time job. That's what I'm And then he's also just, he's saying you have to promote him, which is fine. That's just like definitely good for him for marketing himself. But it's going to be the workaround again of like, he, I'm too busy. I got this project I need to work on. Give me two more weeks, two weeks. Yeah. You pay somebody, they're going to do your job. You're going to get done. And then you fucking don't worry about it later. That's what I was thinking too. Like, there's no, if I give it to him, he's got the full time job. He's got the thing he's running. Exactly. So it's like, it's like, it's, it's again a matter of not being, sometimes you just have to, not focusing on my shit. You just have to pay somebody so, because now they're going to work for you and then you could just tell them this agency's like a full, and they already accepted you kind of. Front end, back end, full design. Well, they got on like, you get on like three calls before you guys actually make Mm -hmm. a deal or a contract or something. We got on the first one. We have the second one scheduled for Monday. And then we'll go, I have to fill out like this monster sheet before Monday, which I didn't even fucking get to start yet. Um, so I'll try to do that tomorrow. But yeah, I would definitely, my personal opinions, just do the fucking agency. Let's not do this again. Yeah. <laughs> like we'll, we'll do this all 2021. But yeah. The shitty part about it is like what we've created so far is like the bare minimum viable product. Like it's out there and people are buying the draft guide, obviously. Mm-hmm. So like anything we do with this new company is probably going to take months, you know, and yeah. by, by the time it's like, by the time the football season basically starts. And by that point, it's like, it's ready for like next year almost, you know? It's always next year though, so that's good. Yeah. You can't yeah. think like that. I know. It just sucks that we like use we had the five, six months to get it done. Yeah. And we didn't. You yeah. Know, to, that's the shitty part about well, it. Well, that's the thing when you, you know, 
when you do, when you, learn. when you do free work, you get free, <laughs> you yeah, get free, you free, you free results. Yeah. And I reached out to like people in the industry. I reached out to like Andy of the footballers and Matt Kelly of Roto Underworld. I was asking him like, you know, I, I get talked about the, the, the uh, situation I'm in and if they had any just, just advice about the hiring web developers. And they both were like, we, we got super lucky with the web developer guys that we have. And then the first hires that we made full time were in-house web developers. And they're both like, that's probably like what it should be for most companies in the space. And I was like, it won't be for us because we don't like have a guy, but like, it's kind of shitty hearing that, you know, do we not have a guy? You can't think of anybody. A web developer guy. No, I don't know anybody. That's why I keep getting on fucking calls. I, I my, keep getting the wrong guys. One of my thinking hat on. Actually, Erica reached out to me. Her friend is like a business, serious business owner Who's and their web developer. Your cousin. Oh. And and she's a very serious like business owner and the web developer that made her site. The, the site was really good. I had a bunch of people actually reach out to me and I feel like I, I, I took the two that I felt like were biggest yeah. priority for me right away. Did she reach out to you because of taxes? Uh, she texts her, like she's now like a cons, c- consult. So like she she's like her own work, like business and she was like asking me questions because she's like nick should, like talk to kelly to be honest because kelly's in the same situation neither of the motherfuckers know what they're doing yeah but like nick, like she was like can you ask nick i'm like this is what i know nick paid x amount and then his accountant came and said you owe this amount and then nick went i paid this amount though already and then the accountant goes yeah but you owe this amount because of this and then it was double of what he paid the first time and she's like oh I was like, yeah. Actually, never mind. Don't, yeah. don't like, get I was in like, touch with Nick. I was like, you don't need this smoke. That like, you don't want control. that. Yeah. Yeah, so. And the draft guide selling? Yeah, the draft guide selling. Is I'm it like, selling as like, I have less? not checked numbers, to be honest with you. Like, I haven't checked sales numbers at all. I've been, like, way too f- busy on content. Okay, well, that's good, though. At least you're doing something productive, not like, I'm just not. Yeah. I, I was scared, like, you're not caring. I was like, what are you? I think maybe that's part of it. It's not good. I know. I mean, What's happening? I think I just don't like not having the structure behind it. Like, I don't like how it's set up right now. So, like, I hate... I don't like that that's my product. But that's your bread and butter. I'm, I'm aware. So, you need to care. The more I'm... Dude, you know what's, what's wrong with you? You know what's weird? What's weird is, like, I'm starting to think that... I don't know. I've always Say thought it. that relying on, on your own products is the way to go. But, like, we have so much opportunity in sponsorships and stuff where we don't have to worry about you know what it is like when we create the draft guide it puts so much fucking work on my plate like yes some people contribute it by writing blog posts for it but like i do so fucking much for it yeah the web development just finding people for the web development having to figure out the work like i just do so much for it that it's like yo is this even the right way to fucking go it's almost like i need a fucking project manager just to manage this single fucking thing where it's like if someone's going to pay me the same fucking price to shout out their shit Part of me is like we need to maybe incorporate that more. You know wow. what I'm saying? Yeah. No, that's a. So you're losing that passion of the draft guy essentially too a little bit. A little bit just because this year has been such a fucking miserable experience with it. You know, yeah. and it was supposed to be a good one and it turned out to be shitty. I'm like, maybe once we get this agency and they do it right and I see it, I'm like, oh, now this is my baby again. Like I'll be. Yeah. I'll yeah, feel yeah. good about it again. That makes sense. But there's just been so much negative energy around it for the last like few months that I'm just like, fuck, I don't even want to deal with this right now. Yeah. No, that's frustrating. But. What about if like, because obviously the draft guide is so beyond what I understand. So there's no way of like shortening it, or it has to be exactly what it is. Like, what do you mean? Or like extent making it something kind of tweak it a little more, like so it's not as workload heavy. Yeah, I don't know. There's I, I still need to like organize because the site where the draft guide is right now is basically also like our our main homepage site too. So it's like everything is inclusive in there. So it's like we just need to have a full circle cycle within the website that is easy for the user to understand. And we're just so far away from that right now that like, we, I just need to get the, the shit going with the agency probably. Yeah. So you made your decision. I'm making a decision. That's fair. So fucking tell the guy, thank you, bark away. And we're just going to do this shit. Fact. Pay it. We're going red. That's it. Deal. See, this, this is what this is for boys and girls. It's about me crying and fucking venting and just, I'm about to give up the company, I think. To who? I don't know. You see any good looking people on the street? Is the homeless guy to the left still there? No, he left. Damn, he just missed a big opportunity. <laughs> big he was getting it. He, yeah, he was it. What time is it? 
Uh, how much time we've we been on for? Not enough. Like, <laughs> like twenty six minutes. Thirty seven. That's fine. You want to get a little sentimental? Sure. So, you're my best friend. For a long time now, like 15 years, right? Ooh, I know what's coming. So, uh, we've been through a lot of shit together, you know? And uh, I think you already know it was coming, but I want to make it official. I've done been known for like 10 years. You're my best friend. I need you to be my best man. I wanted to... Heather brought her friends all these gifts, right? And I was like, I don't know if I can get you. I got you. This, this is not a real gift, but this is something uh, I think will make you understand okay. how long this uh, relationship goes. I want to. I want to guess. Uh, this feels like. Uh, this feels like a box of. Gushers. No. Nah. <laughs> oh, a box of. Fuck! I don't know. You, you, yeah, I don't, I don't think you'll know it because of like that. So. <laughs> Yo, let's go. We don't need to go out to eat anymore. No, we got it here. Lunchables. Rolling Rock. Let's yeah. go. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm cracking this right now. Hold up. So the premise of this is, I don't have a, I'm going to get a so water. It's for me anyways. Thank you. It's bad luck to cheers without alcohol. <sighs> Brings me back to Lavalette. Yeah. So. It hurt my heart a lot. I think that's where our friendship started. Kind of. Like in a real place. Your mom had a beach house. You invited me for the week because nobody else could come. And uh, you weren't already like I don't. It, I think. Well, what was it eighth grade? Maybe. So it was the first summer. I never. Even, you taught me how to swim. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Like I just picked you up like a little baby. That's and just throw you kept you saying I, you're a baby and you would throw me in the water. <laughs> but you wouldn't let me drown. And we would eat lunchables every fucking night. And the first beer we ever got drunk on was Rolling Rock. Everything we ate was Lunchables related. We'd always we needed the max ones. Yeah, the megas. Like I couldn't the, find them anywhere. Yeah, I don't think they make them yeah. anymore. Probably for good reason. Those things were probably so bad. Yeah, my mom would get them for us. The Rolling Rocks. Yeah, I, I would uh, tip the cap to Gene on this one. For yeah, sure. older cousin really, uh, really left impressions it. on us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those trips were fucking amazing. I remember those were like when we first started smoking weed too. We were yeah. well, how young were we? Like eighth grade. Eighth I didn't realize grade. we started smoking that early. But I remember yeah. we would buy pre-rolled blunts. <laughs> yeah. We'd be like, we'd hit up, we hit up Bang and be like, yo, we're yeah. buying weed for down the shore. Can you roll the blunts for us? Yeah. Right, yeah. But, so uh, yeah, we went through shit, man. And I just, I, I obviously knew you knew you'd be my best man, but, uh, just wanted to make it official. You know, you've been there for me for everything and it's going to be a come stressful here. year, Come here, man. baby. All right. We're going to hug it out. Look at that. I'd be honored to reject your best man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I assume. Fuck yeah! All right. Uh, so now I need to find a good ghostwriter for my for the best man speech. Heather went like, Nick knows he has to say his speech, right? Why? Would you, and would I was you, like, Do you think I'm not gonna have a good speech? That's what I'm saying. I was like, that that was that's disrespectful. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's gonna be the best content I've ever made. It's gonna be it's gonna have to be loud, man. People are probably expecting some noise from you. Yeah, like I'm, tears I'm, and laughter. Damn, maybe anger. Like. I'm gonna really have to bring it. You're gonna have to bring it hard. I'm gonna be put on a pedestal. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. I don't really like public speaking. Oh, you cracked your voice. Yeah. <laughs> you started freaking out. Like I can do this. This um, I don't give a fuck. Cause it's just a camera. But public we'll speaking, like, I'm not great. We we'll do like Wizard of Oz. So you're like behind a screen, but you're on. <laughs> be like Nick couldn't make here tonight. I'll come through like the Zoom. Or yeah. Mullen. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, I don't really think it's a big responsibility. So I'm not gonna say that. So I just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. I don't think anyone actually remembers like what a be- like yeah. anyone's best man. I think you just have to. You like, know what a great hold the rings that I bought and then. Who's yeah. a who the bridesmaids? Um, right. she just did it today. It's my so, three sisters. So Renee it's my three sisters. Chris, her, Chris, Will, Michelle, Steph, Renee, her sister Jenna, Nicolette, Rebecca, Megan, eight. Or no, it's a good crew. Yeah. Who else are you asking? Do you know yet? I do. I just want to make it a surprise for some people, so I ain't gonna say it here. But okay. uh, tell me after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a a fun party. So I bet it fucking excited. is. Yeah, hell yeah, dude, yeah. I'm pumped. I'm gonna be sick. All right. What well, do you know the time frame yet of the wedding? Yeah, May 27th. Okay. Oh yeah, you told me that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's a Friday. Fuck yeah. It's the Friday before Memorial Day weekend. I'd love to so hear. It's a long just done weekend. it on Memorial Day weekend. Oh, it's like the Friday of Memorial Day. Weekend? Yeah. Oh, sick. Okay. So I think me Heather like Friday. Obviously, the wedding. I think my dad's having a huge party on Saturday. I got to plan the bachelor party. Yeah. Okay. 
How how early in advance do bachelor parties usually happen? I think uh, like Luke's was I think in September, and he got married in November. Is Luke Luke's or in August? The thing I'm assuming. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, all right, cool. He's actually pretty funny when he's hammered, so that'd be good. He'll just crack all our bags. Yeah, so love that's that. solid. <laughs> um, but I think it's like a month or two months before. Okay. Nice okay. weekend. Alex, is there like anything off limits? Dude, Alex is fucking going nuts. Oh, hell yeah. Alex is just like, we're going overseas. Fuck yeah. Like he's fucking like just. Oh, beast. Yeah. Oh, oh Al- I'm, I'm oh, fucking pumped. Al- Alex is going ready. Where are we going? Uh, Every Alex, time I see him. Okay. I retract what I said before. Alex gets the company. 100 percent. Alex gets the rest of the company. BGGE Lasagna Corporation. BGGE Lasagna Corp. That's it. I think if we just run it right, that's the title. Fucking let's run go. That. Peace. <laughs> Goodbye. Love you. Peace. Don't matter. Usually the red one's mine. Hold up. Last time you said you didn't want my stinky breath. Actually, I actually already forgot which one's mine. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Whatever, motherfucker. Whatever, whatever. Really doing this? <laughs> yeah. You're doing that? I woke up feeling tropical today. You're just getting... You hear that growl? I haven't even been outside today. It's, f- it's like 5 o'clock on a Saturday. And I haven't I've yet to be outside. I've yet to eat a single fucking thing. I had two hard-boiled eggs. This lifestyle, Steve. You crazy kids. I, t- oh, I, you did eat. I mean, is that considered eating? Hard-boiled eggs? Yeah, the calories. 70 calories a pop. I'm going to kill Tony. Why would he do? We were supposed to have the vlog uploaded at 5 a.m. today. It like, didn't work, so we re-uploaded it. It's just been sitting and processing for like six hours. <laughs> I don't know what's exactly going on, but... Have I'm you just, texted him or he's just not answering? Yeah, I'm texting him right now. He's like, let's just set it live. And if something's fucked up, I'm like, dude, it's not on YouTube. We can't set it live. I don't think he did anything wrong. I just, like, his internet's worse than my internet was in Hell's Kitchen. So if everything takes, like, 17 hours. And I don't know if... Uh, Are you going to button your shirt? Huh? Are you going to button your shirt? No. It's pissing me off. Should I? I guess. You want me to? You're already here. I show up. I show up and we show out Steve. Put in seven air conditionings today. <laughs> Was it actually seven? <laughs> like, Why does your house need seven air conditionings? I have no, no two people live there. They just want air conditioning every every room. That's pretty. Like, honestly, when I'm old and I have like just like money to blow, that's probably one of the first things I would. Money. Do. If you have money to blow, just get the fucking blow, central air. AC blow. Yeah, money get blow. central air. He that's has good, the money. That's a good fucking idea. <laughs> yeah, instead of me lugging <laughs> fucking air conditioning. It's absurd. And then I I go get a haircut, and Steph's like, "Can you come over and put mine in?" I'm like, "She's pregnant." So like, what do I do? She has a fucking husband. Yeah, he, he couldn't lift that by himself. A one air conditioner? Not that I heavy. was pissed. I, I lifted Alex up. Alex a beast. I don't believe he can't do an air conditioner. I know. That's what he's, that, he's like, I could have done it. I'm like, then why'd you call me? And I lifted it by myself. It's out of control. Yeah. I'm going to button on my shirt. Okay. How fast can you button a shirt? I'm not doing that. Don't need that pressure right now. Do it. Wow, you're really slow. Are you serious right now? No, that's it. That's good. Yeah. Okay. It's not what the people wanted, but it's what Steve wanted.